What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. You're a returning subscriber as always, guys. Welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Before we get into this story, man, I gotta say something. I cannot stand this microphone. It's heavy as can be and it be pulling my shirt down, wrinkling it all up. But anyway, let's get past that. I'm gonna talk about a story out here where I'm at in Houston, Texas. Shout out to the H, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get that off my chest. And uh, this story right here, man, is horrible. And this happened yesterday, right? And uh, supposedly there was a child's birthday party hosted by the mother. Her and her new boyfriend, when the baby's dad showed up, and according to reports, there was a disturbance, an argument, brief argument at the door when he came to the door, and he wound up shooting and killing this woman at her own child's birthday party before fleeing and police are looking for him right now. I don't know what makes people lose their mind and, and just go over the top with the amount of violence they can inflict on each other when children are involved, shared by both of them. But this is another one of them stories that have you scratching your head. Take a look at this. Police are searching for the father accused of opening fire at his child's birthday party and killing the child's mother. This happened in northeast Houston on Loxley Road near Wayside and Tidwell. Ugochi Iloka has an exclusive interview with a next door neighbor who says she witnessed the entire thing. Right now, Houston police say during this birthday party, a mother was shot and killed in front of her four and six year old children and her new boyfriend. Now, one neighbor who lives right next door tells me she heard what the dad who's been labeled the shooter screamed out when he showed up. Let's end this. Let's end this now. That was moments after Felicia Adams says she saw two cars pull into the driveway. My heart dropped. It, I was terrified. Um, it was loud and it, it, it sounded like it was going to into my home. She says she saw one man fire five shots into the townhouse next door. I immediately told the kids to get down and um, I got down and called 911 right away. Adams tells me she could see everything from her upstairs window. I stayed in the corner watching what was going on. I think I made eye contact with him. Officers then showed up just after 8.30 p.m. last night on Loxley Road and talked to the mother's current boyfriend and the two kids, then found a woman lying on the floor. So when it all happened, the man opened the door and said, help, help my kids. So my heart broke. I thought something happened to those children in there. Turns out it was the mom who was shot and killed. The children were unharmed at what HPD says was one of the kids' birthday party. The gunman who police say took off is the dad. I have a, a five-year-old and she wouldn't stop crying yesterday. We had to, we left yesterday. We didn't stay here actually. Adams tells me she saw the same white Tahoe the dad was driving last night this morning, and she also says there have been reported disturbances at this house before. Now, Houston police say they want the dad to contact them right away. Reporting in Northeast Houston, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News. Ladies and gentlemen, how sad is that? Seriously, how sad is that? This goes back to what I was telling you before. When people commit these uh, acts of violence in temporary rage, it leaves cracks that resonate and touch a lot of other people besides the victim that lost their life. Woman's child across the street, five-year-old daughter, probably was friends with them and played with them, crying, traumatized. Heck, she couldn't even sleep in their house that night. They had to leave. On top of that, said the baby daddy did the shooting. She saw him the next day, which was this morning, in the same towel riding around. Police looking for him right now. It's the craziest thing, man. She got a new boyfriend. Now, we don't know what this is about. She got a new boyfriend. She, it was her with the kids in the house, right? He comes, shoots her, right? Runs off, screams before he shoots her, let's end this now, let's end this now. If it was all like that and you had enough enough, you could have turned the gun on yourself and not even went around there to them children. They could have got the news and mourned all the same. 
you shot a woman in front of her children because you didn't like the situation, or her or who she was with or whoever, but you did it. Your children had to witness you shoot, your, shoot their mother in cold blood in front of the boyfriend while you run off in the most traumatic time of your children's life, seeing horrific violence to their mother, you left while the woman uh, died on the spot with the babies there. How cruel is that? And you left them with a stranger, a new man that you don't even know like that. Think about that. He calls the police, comes out yelling, hey, hey, my kids, help, help my kids. New boyfriend, caught up in drama, boom, he's there. Now you've got uncontrollable four and six year old children, their mother's dead on the ground or dying, and this man gotta try to hold it together. The mental ramifications of that, it's messed up. It's messed up, all because of a fit of anger. Sometimes it's better to walk away and not even go around there if you think something's gonna happen. Sometimes it's better to bite your tongue and walk off. It's like nowadays, nobody wants to what? Back down. Those houses that they're in, guys, I told a, a story in my story time before. I don't know what house this is. I, I mean, I don't know what house it was. I think it was the one on the end. I met a girl and went to that one of them houses. I know where those houses are. When I seen the house, I'm like, I know those houses. Then this was a while ago, but I know those houses. And I know that area kind of rough. Jesus Christ, man. Come on, man. You shot the woman, caused a traumatic experience to your children, ran off and left them there with a man that ain't had nothing to do. And that, like, you know, it was personal because she, she he ain't shoot the man neither. He didn't shoot the man. So like a lot of people say, oh, it might be because of baby. He would have shot the dude. Dudes are retarded. They always take it out on the man for being with somebody that they want to be with or ain't with no more. But either way, listen. We are out of control with the way we can't handle conflict or our emotions nowadays. We are. That right there is mind blowing. I remember when I was four years old and had my birthday and I remember every birthday after that. You don't think they're going to remember the birthday of when their mom got killed, whoever's birthday was, the four or six year old. You don't think that sense of guilt will come up on them when you say happy birthday and it's the death day of their mother at the hands of their father. This is cruel. It's cruel. And it's selfish. I mean, think about it. Just that what I just said, that whole thing. You can't even say happy birthday to this person because, yeah, this is the day my mom got killed by my dad at my party. You don't think she's going to have he or she is going to have some type of psychological. It's going to have some type of psychological ramifications. Moving forward. Don't think about that. That's the craziest thing. No matter how mad I got at a chick or whatever in any type of conflict I had, I always thought about what happens after this. It's like nowadays you get mad at somebody. The only option is extinction. Them, not you, them. You made me mad, you got to go. And a lot of times the people that are doing stuff to you, coming to you and, and putting themselves in that position, if they stayed away from you, they'd be a lot better because you wouldn't be pushed into conflict because you wouldn't be in that person's presence. Like I said, I don't know what this is about, but this is sad all the way around the board from a concept of human decency and self-reflection and, and respect. I, I would have thought before I did all that. For real. That's all I'm saying, man. These children gonna need therapy. The guy gonna probably need therapy. And a funeral has to be planned. They took a month, her, their mother out in a car in a van. Next time they'll see her, she'll be in a casket. That's overloaded on the senses of a four and six year old. All because somebody had anger issues. Fucking pathetic. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I swear that uh, live stream tonight at seven o'clock Central Standard Time can't come fast enough. I'll see you then.